Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday. So we are going to be doing a card and I am doing a birthday card and I am sharing a new stamp set that is going to be coming in the January catalog, mini catalog. By the way, if you do not have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, you can request one on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. If you are new to my channel, <laughs> subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below and share. All those things so help my channel and I really appreciate it. And thank you for those who are already doing all that. All right, so this gift card holder you can make this so many different ways i made it really quick and easy because that's what i needed <laughs> but it has our little owl on here and this little owl is going to be free with a 50 dollars purchase this stamp set is a celebration stamp set which along with our new mini january 5th comes out is going to be celebration so for every 50 dollars you spend you get a choice in the celebration brochure and also if you spend a hundred dollars there's bigger things that you can get as well so for 50 or 100 dollars, you'll get a free product so this little i love these little owls i couldn't wait to share these they were so cute so i'm using the little birthday owl and then I'm using Celebrating You because this one has so many sentiments on it. It's for every occasion. This is the one that you want to grab if you don't. You need just one sentiment stamp set. I'm also sharing the new, if you saw my haul, you saw these already. But I'm share, sharing the new Country Gingham Designer Series paper. You know, I bought two of these, so you're going to be seeing it a lot. So <laughs> if you follow me and you want to do the projects like I do them, um, you're going to want this paper for sure. So this is going to be new January 5th as well. So the, the owl and the paper will not be available till January 5th, but you can get the stamp set. And that's what I used for this one. So this just pulls up like that, and the gift card is right there and then it just slides back down here but you can decorate these so many different ways um, because I've seen people do these and make them look like a package like they'll put a strip down the center put a big bow on the front um, there's so many things you can do with this but I want it like I said really easy and I really wanted to use my cute little owl on this now I cut the owl out with my scan and cut my brother's scan and cut my brother's scan and cut that i got actually off of amazon it is linked in the description below because i always get people asking which one i use and which one i purchased and if you get money for christmas you want to get one of these scan and cuts because oh my gosh it's been so handy and i talk about it a lot so i really love it and it's really easy to use as well so the, you're going to need one piece that's five by four and three quarters, another piece that's five and a quarter by three. We're matting it. So one piece is five by one and a quarter, which is this one, and this is four and a half by two and one quarter. Then for the sentiment, I'm using basic white, and it's three quarters by three. All of these will be in the inspiration sheet on my blog, which may be up a little bit later um then i normally post it so just be aware that it may not get out because things are getting hectic at my house right now from baking to wrapping to getting all this stuff ready it's been really hard for me to get everything out um, on time and yeah you know what it's like if you <laughs> you're around um at christmas time it just can get really crazy all right so Let's get started scoring these. And we are going to score this larger piece that is the five by four and three quarters. You're going to score it at two and a half. And that is going to be half. So it's going to just fold in half like that. We're going to do the same thing with this one. We are going to score this one at one and a half. And that's basically all of the scoring, y'all. It goes really quick, and that's why I'm posting it today. So that if you need a quick and easy, you're going to want to try this one. 
I'm using score tape because this score tape is the perfect size um, to make sure your card fits inside. So I'm just putting one piece on each side here. I'll grab my paper piercer here and we'll remove that. We have lots of birthdays in December, so these will come in very handy. And we, we've already actually had a few. We have two more left. So you're just going to fold that over, including my birthday. <laughs> okay, so there's where your gift card goes, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Because there is a little bit of a trick getting this on here. Let's go ahead and mat this piece first here. And I'm going to mat the top, the top piece after. But this is going to go on the bottom. There's so many patterns to um, different colors that you can use on the with this designer series paper. All right. So what you're going to do here now is you're going to grab your gift card, and I put the gift card inside so that I know where it's going to go, and I'm going to set it in the center here. I'm going to leave maybe a quarter of an inch at the bottom here and I'm going to grab my foam adhesive strips here and they, they worked perfectly for this. If you have um, the squares you can use those as well but this worked so good because it fit just perfect on the side here. So I'm going to put one piece here and I'm going to cut that. I cut it a little bit short than the side here. Just like that. And then we're going to line that back up again because I got it off. And then what we're going to do is add another piece. And I added it on the side here. Straighten that edge out. Add it on the side here. It just keeps it in place and it makes it easier for your card to go in and out. All right, and then one more little piece on this side. It's almost like building a shaker card, but not as detailed. All right, so that's how I did it like that. And then I'm going to remove this. First of all, before I forget, I'm going to get my glue dots and I'm going to add some glue dots just to the back of my card here, right up at the very top. So we are going to do that, add our dots here. And I'm going to add three. And this is going to get laid down here just like that so that your card stays on here. Press that down and then you're going to re remove these backings. You can even use your you can even use your dimensionals right here. And so then you're going to fold that down. I'm going to go ahead and mat it. Put that down here. And then when you pull it up, there's your card. You might, if, if you have a sentiment like that on here, you might want to put it down a little bit further. But yeah, that's how it pops up like that. Okay, so next I'm going to bring our little owl in here. I already stamped him, cut him out with the cut in the um, brother scan and cut, and we are going to color him. So what I need for this, I'm using balmy blue. I think this is Tahitian Tide. Yeah, light Tahitian Tide, ivory, and bronze, pumpkin pie, and light so saffron. All right, so we're going to start with the ivory, and we are going to color him around here. You see if I can use the other side for this. 
I'm going to color this part around his eyes. He is so darn cute. And then I'm going to color his little belly the same. I'm not doing anything fancy, y'all. Just and then we're going to use the bronze. Yeah, the bronze here. And we are going to color him. Oops, I got to use the other side on this one. You can do shading if you're really good at that. You can do some shading with this. There's so much more, but you can just call it get away with coloring him solid because he's so cute. And then we are going to use the Tahitian Tide is going to be for his eyes. They're so pretty. I made them blue. All right. So there's his eyes. I'm going to do his hat. And I'm going to do that in the mommy blue to match the paper. So we are going to do some dark and then want the other stripes, the light. Some of these I need to start refilling because I'm getting where the other side is not. My little brush one is not doing too good. They're all getting messed up. <laughs> and we're going to use the pumpkin pie. For his nose here, or his beak, and then his little feet. And I don't think I even used this yellow. I think I was going to color it for around his eyes. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't know if I did that. Yeah, yeah, I think I did do that because this is the light and it comes out really light. I'll make his eyes stand out. Oh, look how cute he is. He's so adorable. All right, so we are popping him up because we don't want it to interfere with this top right here. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals. First, I need to stamp my sentiment so I could put that down first. So I'm doing the happy birthday again because these are going to come in so handy. That on here and then I'm gonna flag the end on this one of my dimensionals got stuck there and I'm going to use my seal to put that down here and then we're gonna pop him up So that when you open it, it doesn't interfere with the top of that. I'm going to put him right here. And that is it, y'all. So then this can still open and close properly. Yeah, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very quick and easy, and it would be great. Yeah, I didn't pull you out, did I? I could tell now I did not bring you back out. See, that's why I don't bring it you in very often. <laughs> all right, so there, the, there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a blessed day, a Merry Christmas, Happy, Healthy New Year coming up. But I will see you before then. So if you need any supplies, you can still order um, December's host code there. And you can come back and spend your Christmas money with me. <laughs> I hope you all have a blessed day. 
and I will catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.